Would Ms. Rosalie Swendil Swendlind please come forward? Dr. Holderman will present her credentials for the receiving of the honorary degree, and Dr. Steve Michael will help us with the hooding. Rosalie Swedlin Court, creator of visions, organizer of talent, proponent of societal wellness, outstanding alumna. You combine energy and commitment at the highest levels. Your films concern important social and political themes with messages that make us think and learn. In your career of book publishing, movie producing, and talent management, you have played a key role in forming the ideas that shape your generation. Your involvements in Teach for America and in Finca International target the twin challenges of public education and community development, issues that are central to our age. As an English graduate of Arcadia University, you have shown what a liberal education can help someone to achieve. For your many accomplishments and those yet to come, we gladly award you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations. Okay. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Arcadia University, I now confer upon you, Rosalie Swendlin Court, the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities there to appertaining. Congratulations. Thank you. My deepest, my deepest thanks to the faculty, board of trustees, and Dr. James Gallagher for this extraordinary honor. I'm truly flattered. I'm also especially delighted that my mother, who just turned 90, is here with me today, along with my sister, who drove down from Vermont this morning to attend this ceremony. And for someone who has an intense personal interest in the ongoing Medicare debate, um, it is very rejuvenating to be back on a university campus. I graduated from Beaver College in 1968 when it was still an all-female institution offering no graduate degrees and with only a very nascent study abroad program. So learning that Arcadia University is now ranked number one in the country for undergraduate study abroad and having the opportunity to see today how the campus has grown not to mention the exciting range of graduate degrees now offered, makes me even prouder to be standing here today as the recipient of an honorary doctorate of Humane Letters. I work in the entertainment business and have produced several movies, but most of my career has been spent advancing the creative efforts and aspirations of others. First in the publishing business as a director of marketing and publicity, and for the last 33 years as an agent and manager of writers and directors. It's been enormously satisfying to me to have helped build careers and to have seen projects come to fruition that both I and my clients have loved. So I thought I would share with you today a kind of philosophy I've evolved from my work that I believe is relevant to almost any career that one chooses. Whenever one of my clients embarks on a new project, I suggest that he or she establish an internal creative compass for themselves, the creative equivalent of due north. It's important, I will tell them, to always remember why you wanted to make this movie or television show, what themes and ideas you wanted to convey, who your characters are, and what their journey will be through the story. Because all along the way, you're going to be asked to make many compromises and decisions will be made that are out of your control. So you have to know when those compromises collectively have taken you too far away with what you set out to do. In my business, the hardest decision is to know when you have to hold the line, stand up for your vision, 
or sometimes even walk away from something because it's no longer the thing that you were passionate to make, even if others are ready to move forward. In life in general and in any specific pursuit, if you know who you are, if you know what your own creative, ethical, and emotional compass is, you will never get lost. And rather than limiting your options, it will open you up to opportunity, interesting and exciting detours, and adventures off the road you've chosen, because that internal compass will always know how to relocate due north. Some of the most formative and exciting experiences of my life have been the detours I've taken from the career path I was determined to pursue. And it started here at Beaver College. Had I not taken advantage of the study abroad program, I might never have fallen in love with England and subsequently returned to live there for nine years. Had I not taken the risk to switch professions and explore the world of entertainment, which I knew very little about, I might never have discovered a career that has been so richly fulfilling for me. And had I not returned from London and moved to Los Angeles, I might never have met my husband of 28 years. My father, who passed away many years ago, used to remind me that the most important thing you have is your reputation. I believe that was his way of saying, find and never lose your own internal compass. As you pursue your chosen careers, Create your own roadmaps and enjoy and grow from all the detours and always remember who you are. To all the graduates here today, my warmest congratulations and good luck. Thank you again for this honor and for allowing me to participate in your very special day.